Want to see something cool? Look at this. I've integrated text into a photo using a cutout using Adobe Express. I'm going to show you how in this tutorial. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist, content creator, and a proud Adobe Express ambassador. Hit subscribe to this channel to get more helpful tips as part of a series. Now we're going to jump right in. Adobe Express is awesome for many reasons, including how simple and easy it is to use. It's the perfect tool from Adobe to create eye-catching images. So here's how to do this nifty text integration within a photo. Here from the dashboard, I'll continue creating from this existing project. By the way, in another video using this same image, I showed you how to create a simple infographic. We're building on that in this tutorial. If you're curious to check out that tutorial, I will link to it somewhere on the screen. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the elements on screen, leaving just the image. I'm gonna place the image exactly how I want it. So in this case, I'll make it smaller and add some more exciting text that will look awesome for this effect. I usually find that bigger, easy to read text works best in this case, since we're placing an element in front of it. Since I'm changing the color of this text, I will ungroup, adjust the color and adjust the text and we're set. When I'm ready, I'll select the duplicate icon and I've got two layers. Then I'll select remove background on the front layer, which is one of my favorite quick actions in Adobe Express. In seconds, the background is removed. So now I can just position my cutout right over the top of the duplicated image. And a little trick, I will use the arrow keys on my keyboard to get it just so. Placing it right over the top of that image is important for this effect to work. Then I'll check the ordering of my layers, which is visualized in a beautiful way in Adobe Express right down here. Make sure your cutout is the first layer so it overlaps with the text, just like that, and you're set. You can download the final image by selecting the button at the top. I love this effect. I love that it only took a few minutes to pull it off in Adobe Express. Next, I'll demonstrate how you can schedule this image to post on your social media channels using Content Scheduler. That is also easy and really useful. That video is coming up next in this series. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. We're happy to help. I can't wait for you to try Adobe Express for yourself. Don't forget to stay tuned to this channel for more actionable tips weekly to create more, create better, and create faster. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video in this series.